Hello and welcome to a new video about controls. This time we are talking to start about electrical controls. Okay. So last time we talked about pneumatic and hydraulic controls and we divided this into different areas. We said, okay, there's a power supply, there's an input elements, there are processing elements, there are output elements, there are then working elements and so on. And guess what? The same also applies for electrical controls. This is the sheet from last video. I uh, said, okay, power supply, pumps, accumulators, pa, 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 input elements, uh, lever valves, push valves, barriers, processing elements, way valves, shuttle valves, pressure valves, uh, output elements, way valves, working elements, cylinders, motors, turbines. Yeah, we talked about this. Now, let's make a new part yeah? and this time we're going to talk about electrical electrical controls yeah? and there is also a power supply yeah? and it's not the plug yeah? it's usually the power plant okay? power plant these usually produce AC current yeah? And there is also DC, and DC can come from can come from batteries and power supply units. Hmm? That's that's it. Battery we know, right? Things like this, yeah? things like that. Battery. Yeah? Battery or big batteries like in the car and so on, yeah, they can be used uh, not for, usually they are used just for, for bridging something, yeah, to, to, to do some intermediate power supply. Yeah? Usually we have, if we have AC, we either can directly plug it in, yeah? one phase AC, three phase AC, usually public distribution system is three-phase AC. We are, there are explanations of this in electrotechnic. Okay? So alternating current, one phase or three phase and batteries. If usually if we do have AC and need DC, we are using a power supply unit. Power supply unit, I guess everybody of you know such things, yeah? especially the small ones, they're literally everywhere. Yeah? These things. Yeah? Plug, plug it in. Yeah? On the other side, charge your phone or whatever. Charge whatever you like or power supply, whatever you like. There are the small ones and there are also those big ones. Yeah? This here is also a power supply unit. Yeah? Power. Input AC, output, this one I can even select how many volts output I want to have. Huh? This is for testing purposes and so on. And usually they are smaller. Hmm? The power supplies are smaller and built in into a cabinet and is power supplying with a lot of times 24 volts some, some devices. Okay, So this is power supply. Input elements. So there are, there are switches, switches, proximity switch, yeah, lever, lever switches. What are those things? Yeah? These, for instance, typical switch yeah, for a cabinet door. Clicky, clacky, clucky. Yeah? Input something. Yeah? This small lever switch can be to check if a door is closed or not. Click, 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 click. Yeah. Big lever switch. Yeah. Then there are things like proximity switches. Here, here I have one. Yeah. So this is working touchless. If something is getting close, took this will switch. Yeah. Proximity switch. These are typical input elements for for such controls, for electrical controls, switches, proximity switch and so on. 
we'll talk about this. Processing elements. Yeah? There we usually have relays. Okay. What a relay is and how this is working, we will talk. Yeah? This is, for instance, a relay. Yeah? This is another type of relay. This is still, an, again, another type of relay. So there are different type of relay. They pretty much look similar. There is the, the, the looks like the, the thing is only changing the, the, the letters on and so on. We'll talk about this. So, because in relays, yeah, these are processing elements and how we connect them de defines what the, what the um, control is doing. This is actually what we can use to program our logic. We will see how this is working. This is getting interesting. And then output elements, they're also relays. Yeah. So they pretty much look the same way. Yeah. However, you s I'm not sure if you can see it, but in there, there are tiny, tiny contacts or tiny. There are contacts. Yeah. And if such a relay has to switch a certain amount of power, those contacts need not just to be contacts, you know, they need to be contact, a whoop, a yeah, big one. Yeah. If there is a lot of uh, power to be switched and a lot of current to be switched, we need a big, bigger contact. Yeah. And if a big relay with massive contacts is usually not called relay, but conductor. Contact. In, in German, this would be Schutz, Relay and Schutz. Okay? And then there are working elements, and working elements are usually electrical motors. Huh? Oh, motors, also here, this is for instance a servo motor, a pretty small one. Yeah? It's mainly a matter of scale. Yeah? So there are big ones also. Also here, a small, a small motor is built in here. Yeah, there is a motor built inside there, and this in this fan. Yeah, so electrical motors or magnets. Magnets are very often used to move something. Yeah? Since, since current is producing a magnetic field around, if 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 there's a, a wire transporting current around this wire, there's a magnetic field. Okay? And if I bend the wire in a proper way, in an intelligent way, then it looks like this. A coil eh? pretty much looks like, like this. Eh? Just a spool. Of wire yeah? and here if I have winded it in a proper way then we are producing here a magnet field somewhere is a north pole somewhere is a south pole yeah? and with this if there is current running the magnet is there and if current is switched off there is no magnet and with this I could for instance if I'm using this coil here yeah? and insert there some iron part yeah, which is magnetic and I turn on I turn on the the, the voltage the, the, the current actually the current is the important thing then this iron part will be pulled into the magnetic field and this pulling I can really use to switch something to do to use as working element okay yeah that's that's actually it yeah so power supply power plant batteries power supply units input element some different sorts of switches with different end things it's pretty much the same right and processing elements there is just relays mainly yeah maybe conductors Output element, relay and conductor, and working element, electrical motors, and also electrical magnets. Yeah. 
And now the interesting part is here. Yeah. How can we program a logic with some wires in the end? Yeah. So we are going to talk about this in next video. Yeah. Next video we are going to talk about the base element of of electrical controls. That's the contact. Yeah. So next thing we are talk, going to talk about contacts and how they might get switched or not. Yeah. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.